And welcome into Getting Help from Uncle Sam. Well, it's just about uh, six weeks off when we're going to be looking at another race for mayor in the city of Montgomery. It just seems like yesterday that we were having a race for mayor, but <laughs> it's back again. And we want to show some of the candidates that are going to be vying for that seat. And today we have with us David Woods. And David is a old friend of ours. I've known David since the beginning of time, mm -hmm. since he was a little kid. Quite a while. Quite a while, <laughs> quite a while. I knew your dad quite well. In right. fact, your dad, when he ran for governor, was a guest on this show. Mm -hmm. That was a while ago. That was a while ago, <laughs> yes it was. Probably 1970. Yep, that's right. So that's, that's right. Wow. So basi yeah. basically, you've been in a family that has been a family that serves all your life. Yes. Yeah, I was fortunate. I was raised in Dothan. Uh, there were nine of us. I had eight brothers and sisters. And my parents were, you know, they're very, they were very religious, which was great because they helped us with a uh, good, solid foundation. biblical right. foundation. Mm -hmm. But they were ser servants. They were very active. They taught us to serve and they, the uh, importance of serving. They also, my dad and mom also grew up during, during the Depression. Right. Mm -hmm. And my dad in particular knew what it was like to be hungry. And he talked about it because he, he had a tough time. My mom lived on a farm, but they, they were poor. But they had food usually. Mm -hmm. But anyhow, so serving became, was very important to him because he knew he was the recipient right. as a child. And he just taught us that. And that's why, we've, that's why I have a servant's heart today is that my parents sort of you know, shared that with us at an early age. Well, I, I think when I look at the candidates, the first question that comes to my mind is, what made you decide to run for mayor? Good question. You know, at this point in our lives, we have options. God's blessed us, and we, and we really have two choices. We can go forward and live for pleasure, or we can go forward and live for purpose. Mm -hmm. And my choice is to live for purpose. Purpose is when you focus on the needs of others. Mm -hmm. It's when you think about helping people. It's, it's when you thinking about. It's when you think about using the gifts that God gave you to benefit other people. In my case, He's given me leadership gifts. He's given me quite a bit of experience in the business world, and I think I can use those talents and skills to benefit this city. There's 200,000 people here, mm -hmm. and when you lead a city of 200,000 people and focus on them and helping them and and trying to improve their quality of life, that's living for purpose. Being mayor of Montgomery is an opportunity to live for purpose. And living for, pur pur as I said, pur pur purpose to me <laughs> is more desirable than living for pleasure. Mm -hmm. And pleasure is about Amen. yourself. Amen. Right. Absolutely. Well, you know, it's, we talk a lot about it's easy to talk the talk. But walking the walk is a whole different ballgame. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm delighted to say I have served on boards with you. We have. Uh, and the interest, a couple of those, they're varied. Your interests are varied. Yeah, we have a v variety of interests. We have served on several boards because mm -hmm. you too have a servant's heart. And, and I hope as I get older, I'm able to serve as much as you do because I'm, I'm, I see your schedule. And <laughs> if you get as old as I am, you'll Wait have plenty of time. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait. Um, <laughs> no, I'm, as, um, but anyway, uh, we do serve a variety in a variety of areas. God calls us to serve. God loves mm -hmm. a, a generous giver. Right. And he's been generous to us, all of us. I mean, we, we were born in the United States. Amen. Mm -hmm. It's a good way to start life. But uh, back to serving, though, here in Montgomery, we've been serving in various capacities for, you know, 35 years, as long as we've been here. But uh, we're active with, from the ground, uh, no pun intended, but we were with Common Ground when they started. Great mm -hmm. project. I met with Brian Kelly before Great. they launched. He right. came to our church and mm -hmm. visited with us. Um, so we've been supportive there. We're, uh, we're involved with the Mercy House, Ken Austin, wonderful, wonderful ministry. And I would encourage everyone to go by Mercy House and, and just spend time there. Um, they, d they meet the needs of the people in Washington Park in a tremendous way. And the uh, Montgomery community is very supportive and generous to the Mercy House. You know, we, you and I served together with the Cancer Wellness Foundation. Mm -hmm. um, and they're again underprivileged people who can't afford transportation or medication. Right. It's, it's, it's so sad because when people go through cancer, a lot of times they lose their jobs, they, they lose their income stream, they, they get into trouble, financial trouble. Mm -hmm. The Wellness Foundation that you've been very instrumental in uh, trying to support and strengthen meets the needs of the patients. It helps them with transportation, it helps them with uh, medicines, pharmaceuticals that they sometimes are unable to afford right. or 
they lose their insurance, and so it, it provides a tremendous service for people that are going through probably the, the, most, the, the most difficult situation in their life is mm -hmm. being a cancer patient. Well, we, would, we were going to ask you, we, we asked most of the candidates, if you, if you had a magic wand, <laughs> it would take one, but what would be your top priorities uh, in things that you would like to change or accomplish? Right. Name, us, name us about three. All right. I think the, one of the, probably the most important uh, contribution that a uh, mayor could make in, his, in four years is to, try to, can, is to try to just lead everyone in this city into an area where we just embrace and cel celebrate diversity. That's a great, that would be a great contribution. And we've, and we've moved a long way in Montgomery. Mm -hmm. And we are becoming a city that's much more racially harmonious and that's so important you know financial issues are important you want the city to grow but the, to me uh, being celebrating diversity is important so David if, if a, one of our viewers wants to get more information on you or even talk to you or have you come address their group how do they get a hold of you uh, I, we're we're available we're ready we we want to go out and visit we've been doing yes. this for really the better part of a year okay but the easiest way is our website, it's davidwoodsmayor.com. Okay. Davidwoodsmayor.com. We'll, we'll put that up on the screen. And that will uh, bring, you know, that'll allow someone to get messages to us, and then we can react and respond and try to go out and help. But, but we really have a desire to serve this entire city, to serve everyone, because yeah. Montgomery's a great town. Yep. There's 200,000 people here, all right. and all 200,000 people deserve a better city in which to live. Mm -hmm. And that's a, a responsibility that the mayor has. Great. And we hope to have that responsibility because we love Montgomery. Okay, it's buddy. Our home. Appreciate you. And just remember this, the election's right around the corner. Do your homework. There's a number of candidates, just about as many as are running for president on the Democratic ticket. But we've got a lot of them. Do your homework. Find out what each of them are all about. Find out how they reflect what you need in your life. And we'll be right back right after this.